A California's radical Dem governor, Gavin Newsom, today started closing again. Most dine-in restaurants, bars, movie theaters, other indoor businesses across the state because of a spike in the numbers of the China virus now in California. His order affects more than 30 counties that are home to about 80 percent of California's population. California's two largest school districts, Los Angeles and San Diego, announcing today they will start the, ups, uh, the upcoming school year with full distance learning. That means no school, and they don't have to worry about well, social distancing because they're going to have online education. Joining us tonight is Fox News medical correspondent Dr. Mark Siegel and Dr. Ronnie Jackson, former White House physician, also candidate in tomorrow's Republican runoff for Texas's 13th congressional district and former admiral in the United States Navy. Uh, it's great to have both of you. And, and let me start with the uh, with California and and, and Dr. Siegel. We're we're seeing this that where there's been openings. Now we're starting to see closure again, uh, more closings. Uh, you, what do you make of it? Are we looking at more waves of this? What in hell is going on? Well, Lou, it's very, it's, it appears very punitive, doesn't it? And all of these things occurring at once. I want to point out that when Governor Abbott in Texas closed down the bars and limited restaurants to 50 percent uh, occupancy, you know what's happened? The case rate has dropped in half in Texas and the hospitalization rate for the first day today has started to go down. Governor Newsom is going crazy here. First of all, he sanctioned all the protests in the state, right, where everyone was cheek to jowl. Now, I, I'm okay with the bars closing and even maybe the restaurants and movie theaters, but what are you talking about schools? Already schools going to online learning with Zoom and, and young children can't socialize and special needs can't be taken care of and kids <laughs> miss their nutritional meal. You're saying it's bad public health policy. It's not consistent, Lou. It's not consistent across the board. It's okay. draconian, right. and, Let me and turn it causes to... more fear, and people try to... That sounds like bad public <laughs> public health <laughs> policy to me, Mark. But uh, turning to you, Ronnie, good to, good to see you and have you on the broadcast. Thank you, Lou. How much of this do you think is being driven by politics? Well, I'm, I'm more skeptical than, than, than he is. I, I think it, this is really a, a large part of this is being driven by politics. I think that if this weren't an election year right now, we wouldn't be talking about schools shutting down. Uh, you know, I'm up here in the 13th Congressional District of Texas. I'm in Amarillo today. And, yeah, the governor's taking a step back here, but it hasn't been really well received here, to be honest with you. And folks are really going about their business here for the most part. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're just out. We got to get people back to work and uh, we, we got to get people back to school because, you know, we all know that people, some people can't get back to work until their kids get back to school as well. So that's going to be a big burden for people around here in Texas uh, as far as getting back to work goes. And, and this is being driven in my mind, almost completely by politics right now. There's just a big push right now. I'm, I think really what they're hoping to do we're is gonna... make this such a big deal. Go ahead. <clears throat> No, no, that's I think you're exactly right. Uh, we're going yeah. to uh, talk, uh, continue our talk with Dr. Uh, Ronnie Jackson and Dr. Mark Siegel. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We're back with Drs. Mark Siegel and Ronnie Jackson. And I want to start uh, with this question. Fauci, Dr. Anthony Fauci. I mean, he has been all over the map and all over the airwaves. He's running for something. Does anybody know what? <laughs> I mean, he he didn't know what it—he was wrong about masks. He was wrong about international travel. He's wrong on uh, just about, well, on too much. Uh, Mark, your first—your reaction first. No, again there, Lou, it's inconsistencies we're seeing that is most disturbing here. That's where it is all politics, because people are making political statements, and they don't have anything to do with public health. I mean, the reason the masking got all over the map is because there's no scientific evidence yeah. proving to, to what extent masks work. We think they have a role, but they're not the answer. So people become religious about masks. And the same thing is true with California. Governor Newsom is all over the map. He, there's no consistency. And again, I'm completely against schools closing. A, a, a really, really bad public health, Lou. Uh, Dr. Jackson? 
Yes, yeah, so, well, Lou, I think one of the greatest things the president's done recently is he's transitioned from listening to the medical task force as much as he was, and he's transitioned now to listening to the economic task force that's trying to get this country back to work, and I think that's important. Right. Now, you're going to have a, a town hall meeting tonight with the president, right? What time is that? I I sure am. That's uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Central here. We're gonna we're getting together, and uh, the president's excited about talking to the voters in 13 and telling them why he needs to, uh, why he's supporting me, and why they need to vote for Ronnie. Doctors Mark and Ronnie, we thank you very much. Heck of a way to talk to doctors, isn't it? But there it is. Thank you, gentlemen.